A Captain America shield has just been added to Fall of Heroes, and it comes with some great protection, and it's really overpowered with a crazy aimbot. It's also a ton of fun to use, and it looks so cool. So of course, so let's get into this. Alright guys, so as you can see, we got a lot to go over today. So first things first, before we get to the Captain America shield, let's just go through what's new. So NPCs can now use weapons and abilities, added new NPC types, policemen, kingpin, and punisher. We're going to get to that very, very soon. Added four new events, a wanted assassination, a lockdown, and incursion. I haven't actually tried those yet, so I hope we get to try that in this video then of course we got the added captain america shield which is so awesome and we're gonna get to that like literally right after this now we got the increase of miles done payout gear is now given on level up that's really big so when you level up now in the game you can get some more customizability options money is now given on mission and event completion and then fix suit transparency after using teleport fix character preview accessories and fix suit not equipped on spawn so a lot of cool new bug fixes a lot of cool new features if you guys do want to access the captain america shield what you want to go ahead and do is press m go to your weapon slot and then click on any one of these again guys this is still an early access pre-alpha so by the time this video out it may be closed but as of now the weekend i'm posting this video he's letting everyone test the game so if we go ahead and we go over you can see we got the shield right here you can go ahead and equip it just like that and it acts as a melee weapon but with extra features can be thrown to enemies and block projectiles so it actually is really overpowered and i'm gonna show you guys how that works in a second obviously you're able to take the shield and throw it at enemies it does a lot of damage you're able to block with it but something really cool about it i want to show you guys i'm gonna go ahead and actually reset my flight there's like a bug in the game hopefully surface fixes it where like your flight or your powers don't go max speed and you gotta re-equip them so so for example this guy has a shield right here if i were to take my assault rifle when he's holding it wherever i hit the shield it's gonna do no damage all right so i'm asking this guy let me shoot a shield so you can see when wherever you hold it it does absolutely no damage even when it's on your back like my character is right now you can hit the inside the outside when he blocks with it does absolutely nothing all right so i'm gonna see if he lets me unequip it and put it on the back so look you can see here absolutely nothing now i can go ahead and even use my sniper rifle i mean it's such a cool detail that surface bretzky digital they all add to the game i love it so much it's kind of overpowered because you don't even have to use the shield but if you just have this on your back all the time i mean it's just extra protection like you it just makes you so much more overpowered and like honestly i love it so much but it can definitely be a bit broken so i don't know if they're gonna like balance it or what because it's pretty crazy powerful there's even an aimbot on it like for example if you just press e it goes right to them bounces off different characters it's so good you can bounce it off walls too i mean look at that he bounced on the floor too you can damn that is so nice god damn guys i mean look at that now if i want to hit these guys you gotta just aim at them look at that you can get some double hits triple hits it really is insane a little cool feature guys i forgot to show you in the last video if you go to your super speed you can actually change the effect color it is for like a thousand cash but it is really worth it because when you do equip it look at that it's so sick so if you guys didn't know that before because if you want to customize your character more this game does have a lot of dc universe online aspect one of my favorite part about dc universe online is the customizability how everyone can be their own hero and i think age of heroes or really fall of heroes now it's going to take that concept and i love that so much now if you guys do want to see the new people added into the game so i did add kingpin and punisher so over here for example is the kingpin now it kind of does suck that i am a villain right now but he doesn't take any fallback damage look at that i mean it's actually insane i mean he's it, it, just so big and i think it makes sense but it's a really cool detail he definitely is the strongest npc there is but he's not even gonna attack me because i'm a villain um, i'm gonna get through some like a 200 experience which is really nice now a citizen for example if i were to attack him well do i even get experience i guess i got 100 experience so yeah we even got two kingpins over here three i mean look at that oh we hit one okay can we double hit them actually i'm curious i do want to show you guys the punisher because he's also really interesting so here is the punisher he looks really good he's got a sniper rifle again i wish i was kind of a hero right now we get 200 experience from him as well so i guess maybe kingpin doesn't give you more but he's still really fun to fight now all of these guys are really really cool uh they're good way to give you experience in the game they still have heisenberg in the game of course it's a lot of fun to use him and there's a lot of really you know neat stuff like that surface has been working on and again you guys probably saw earlier you can no scope in the game i actually have been doing it a lot in my prior live streams if you can get it down it's actually really broken so this guy's again he's trying to shield from me but if i can get out of here i want to see if i can get a nice no scope on him so the second i get up oh no i missed i missed i'm so done and you guys can also see the pvp aspect of this game is getting really really good because there's a shield now there's metal arms there's basic combat there's so much you can do oh yeah citizens will attack me oh that's so cool i love that so i go ahead and use my shield again it's gonna drain your block stamina but but overall, like, it works pretty well, especially for in a sticky situation. And again, like I said before, if I go ahead and, like, like, look, my shield, when I take it off, 
automatically a backplate and it's kind of game breaking in my opinion because all you gotta do is equip it you don't even need your other powers anymore so at that point like like you don't you don't need your armor is what i'm saying you don't have to upgrade your back armor because like it literally is your back armor it's insane now again like if you want to let me see if i can get this guy over here i mean i don't know if it auto oh my never mind i was gonna say i don't know if it auto aims for uh heroes but damn that thing has some real range now, is there a way to aim it like like i feel like i'm not using it to its full potential so i can bounce off like one wall can i get it to bounce off like two walls one wait let's see so let's, like how many i don't even know man i believe the teleportation i think i covered this in the last video but they, they added some pretty cool stuff to the teleportation uh you can really get some good range with it now so obviously you can click where you want to go but look you can only go so far now and you have no oh there is a timer yes yeah, so you can only go so far you can click as far as you want to go and i think honestly teleportation with the captain america shield would be pretty overpowered and look at this guy boom get out of here oh later bro and then a nice snipe like you know there's a lot of combos you can do now i actually wonder could we go ahead and put on the metal arm with the captain america shield so let's go to our weapons let's go to our third one let's get the metal arm damn bro that goes tough man we can make a full captain america setup here honestly like that's nice now, does metal arm take damage? I don't actually know. All right, shout out to YT Chris. He was able to help me uh, with this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my, oh, actually, I only have my sniper rifle. Let me go ahead and grab my, let's get a pistol, actually. Let's we'll take a pistol, okay. So I'm gonna shoot at the arm. Oh, it does do damage, interesting. Okay, wait, is it doing damage? I can't, oh, it, it is doing damage. Okay, so honestly, like, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like if you have metal armor, it shouldn't be able to take damage, but because it's bulletproof in the movies, in the TV shows, um, I don't know. It would be a little overpowered, though, if you get a Captain America shield and a metal armor, you won't be able to take much damage, but it would be a pretty cool combo, and it would be a lot of fun. Now, maybe I'm not doing it right, but that's pretty cool in my opinion. Overall, though, this shield is great. I want to do some more testing. I did a lot of testing in the live stream today. Uh, there's a lot of capabilities. I feel like I'm messing with it. I mean, look at this. I mean, dude, it's, it's there's so much you can do with stuff like this. There's so much you can combo and it's honestly so much fun in my opinion now again guys this is just the pre-alpha so there is no official release date to this but it seems like surfus likes to open the game on the weekend so hopefully you keep doing that i think it's a really good tradition right now it's 186 players they got to like 300 today it's doing really good for pre-alpha i've been having a lot of fun so i can't wait to see what else they add to the game because it has so much potential and i feel like this might be actually the most fun game i've ever played on roblox if it keeps getting better i also do think it is worth mentioning i'm not really sure what's going to be happening to age of heroes when age of heroes 2 comes out i mean they have game passes in this game they have a lot of players so i don't know how surface could turn like shut down almost like a game like this i mean that's a big deal to shut down a game as big as, as big as age of heroes i mean it's 91 million visits 500,000 favorites so who knows maybe we'll just put a text thing saying like teleport to a sequel of age of heroes or something like that go play fall of heroes who knows Maybe we'll shut it down. I, re I really don't know, man. It's such a classic game, so we're going to have to see with that one. If you guys do want to see any more content, though, of Fall of Heroes, I made a full review of the pre-alpha game. It's still in testing, guys. It's only going to be open for the weekend, but if you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, and become a channel member. It really does help me out a lot. And with that said, go check out the video, and I'll see you guys next time.